my name is Ena Srepša, I'm from Latvia. I have been working for the Central Bank and for the government of Latvia for long years and also managed to do some reforms during my career. I believe that there are um, a few lessons which can be learned from Latvia and basically if they find uh, first that uh, free markets and stabilization is uh, very es essential for development and prosperity um, and uh, low inflation is indeed a, a very good uh, thing for people and for businesses they uh, enjoy and appreciate it. Uh, second, that you indeed need to do a lot of reforms uh, in, in the free markets and uh, your economy. Um, uh, then, uh, if you have a crisis, uh, then you must address the, uh, directly address the underlying problem. Yeah? And do not uh, uh, listen too much to other uh, economists or experts saying, uh, telling you different perhaps not the best solutions to your crisis, you must uh, understand what the real problems are and address those problems directly. Uh, you can also learn some negative things from Latvia. Yeah? Uh, for example, uh, do not postpone your healthcare reforms. We in Latvia have uh, maintained uh, pure uh, socialism in our healthcare. Uh, every government uh, financed healthcare manipulation is directly financed from from state budget, uh, centralized uh, planned, um, uh, almost like centralized planned economy, and it's not working. You have queues, you have uh, low quality, and, and you have very many problems, and doctors are, are unsatisfied with low uh, wages, uh, nurses are not satisfied. It's a very poor situation, uh, and the private quality medicine is uh, available only to those who can afford to pay. Yeah? So that's not how to uh, do the healthcare, um, and uh, the reason behind this is we uh, simply failed to privatize it. We failed to introduce modern uh, insurance-based um, uh, solidarity principle-based uh, medicine uh, reform, healthcare reform. And uh, again, here you can learn from other countries. And uh, currently, I'm suggesting to, uh, learning from Netherlands. The Dutch model is arguably the best healthcare model in the world. Uh, it's working very well. Uh, it's much better than American model uh, and uh, much better than other uh, countries around the world. Well, pick any of the uh, countries which have succeeded in, in its own um, uh, domain and uh, learn from the policies and then implement those policies uh, directly here. I would encourage to, uh, to simplify the legal system, to make rules and regulations really uh, understandable, clear, simple, uh, to establish the rule of law, to privatize uh, uh, the uh, state-owned enterprises, to put them on commercial grounds so that they will be competing in the uh, free market with uh, private enterprises. Um, uh, of course, uh, to stabilize currency, that must be done. Uh, if the central bank uh, is, not, uh, is not managing uh, the prices or there are some difficulties, you can always introduce currency board. Estonia did introduce currency board and this is always an option for Ukraine. Then the monetary policy is automatic and the currency stability, uh, exchange rate stability is immediately guaranteed. When you are doing some uh, hard reforms, you have to explain to people why you are doing this and defend your position. The communication uh, should be very, uh, very straightforward, very simple. It's not easy. Only the best uh, people, the, the wisest, uh, can speak simply. Simple terms, simple legislation, yeah? communicate directly. We have to do this in order to get that. Yeah? And people will understand. If people will feel that there is um, uh, a light at the end of the tunnel, yeah? so uh, that uh, there is a hope for tomorrow, that the government is knowing what, what they are doing, that there will be better jobs tomorrow, ex economic prosperity, they will be very happy to wait a little and to um, feel some additional difficulties. Mm -hmm.